Good morning, John. Today, Oren was bouncing on the couch and he was singing the ABC song. He has a lot of energy these days. It's very good. And as per usual, when he got to H-I-J-K, he sang H-I-K-J-L-M-N-O-P. And this has been going on since he learned the alphabet song like almost two years ago now. But this time I looked at him and I was like, that's a little kid now. Like, eventually he's gonna have to learn the alphabet in the correct order. Like he has the whole rest of the thing right. And then I was like, well, does he? Because it's not like there's a good reason it's in alphabetical order. So if he says KJ instead of JK, who cares? Except then I was like, actually, no. It's arbitrary. There's no reason why it's that way. But there is a reason why it's a way. Orn's gonna have to, at some point, uh, be able to look things up in alphabetical order. And this isn't something that I'm worried about. When he was two, he used to always say, when referring to himself, he would call himself you. Like, you have to go to the bathroom, or you are thirsty. And I'm like, <sighs> I get what you mean, and it makes sense, right? We call him you, and he's up here being like, okay, so I'm you, and I'm like, no, you are you. Ugh. Like, for a two-year-old whose whole world is very new, the following sentence isn't very easy to parse. No, you're you. No, you're me. When you're talking about you, you're me. But eventually, without us even noticing it, like one day, he was just saying I instead of you. So like, there's nothing I'm worried about. He's gonna get J and K right eventually. But this whole thing made me think about another thing, as it so often does, which is that just because something is arbitrary doesn't mean it isn't useful. And I think that we get those things mixed up a lot. Whether something has a reason for being the way it is has no impact on whether or not it's useful. In fact, there are lots of things that have great reasons for being the way that they are, but that's actually not useful. Like the keyboard. <laughs> there's, there's a reason why it's laid out this way. It's just not a good reason anymore. It's so mechanical typewriters didn't get jammed. Like, we don't need to worry about that. It's full of electrons. But once it was that way, we're not gonna change. This is permanent now. It maintains its utility because I need to be able to sit down at a different computer and still be able to type. The biggest example of this, of course, is language. None of these words need to be the words that they are. Like, there's no reason that the sound protein bar needs to be, like, that's just a weird noise. It's like, okay, yes, it's a bar and it's got protein in it, but both of those words, that was a bad example. Ear? Ear. Doesn't need to be called an ear. But everybody needs to call it the same thing. That has tremendous utility, as we see when we go to places where people speak different languages. Now this is usually the point in a Vlog Brothers video when I would tie this interesting little thing that I had a thought about into something that's relevant to your life or maybe even to like the the world as it exists right now. Oh, I thought Hank was just being silly and making noises and then he really tied it in to like Robin Hood and GameStop stocks. Maybe I'm too stressed out. I haven't been sleeping great. I've got, you know, just thinking about stuff that needs to get fixed in one way or another. And so I kind of got nothing. Like I got a couple of things, but it would have been way too hard to get deep into how I feel like this impacts us on a deeper human societal level. So I just gave up. Is that the point of the video? Sometimes you can get halfway through something and be like, ah, well, this is good enough. I don't need to wrap it up in a nice pretty bow. I'm just here in your YouTube subscription box to say that just because something's arbitrary doesn't mean it's useless. That's it. We exist in a stew of completely made up things that don't exist for any particular reason. There was no system applied to their creation and yet they remain dramatically useful to, con to the continued existence of ourselves and our society. <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday.